What is the fastest object in the universe? Well, it's light. Einstein formulated that nothing could exceed the speed of light. Now in a discovery that borders on the supernatural, physicists have achieved what Einstein himself would have called impossible. They've frozen beams of light into a crystalline structure, creating the first ever photonic solid. Scientists at the Institute of Advanced Photonics in Milan have achieved the seemingly impossible. They forced light particles to remain perfectly still while maintaining their photonic properties. This isn't merely slowing light down, it's creating an entirely new state of matter that defies our fundamental understanding of physics. In a paper published in Nature, the team of Italian nanotechnologists and physicists explain how they fundamentally altered our understanding of light's properties. The light they've manipulated has become a true super solid, maintaining a crystalline structure while simultaneously exhibiting superfluid properties. This achievement challenges conventional views on the laws of nature while making light more controllable and stable. The practical applications extend to advanced optical technologies and quantum computing potentially revolutionizing how we process and transmit information while opening doors to discovering entirely new forms of matter. Breaking news coming in viewers, Indian Air Force has launched Operation Sindur. Indian military, Indian armed forces have launched Operation Sindur, hitting terrorist infrastructure in Pakistan and Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. From where terrorist attack against India have been planned and directed, India had promised a befitting reply. Here it is, Operation Sindur. This is days after a deadly terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir's Pahalgam that claimed 26 lives. Now, according to a statement released by the government of India, altogether nine sites have been targeted. And these sites are across Pakistan and Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. No Pakistani military facilities have been targeted. The Indian military has made it clear. No Pakistani military facilities have been targeted in these strikes. These are terrorist holdouts which have been targeted, pinpointed. India says its actions have been focused. They have been measured and they are non-escalatory in nature as these are terrorist hideouts. The country in a strong message to Pakistan has said that it is living up to the commitment that those responsible for the attack will be held accountable. Once again, I repeat viewers, this is Operation Sindur. The Indian military has carried out measured strikes on terrorist holdouts in Pakistan and Pakistan occupied Kashmir. All right, I'm now cutting across to our correspondent Idris Sloan, who's joining us from Srinagar. Idris, India had promised a befitting reply, Operation Sindur, it's out in the open. Now give us more on whatever you've picked up so far. Well, Shivan, uh, we've just heard from the Indian Army that they've carried out uh, a strike, precision strike at the terrorist camps across the line of control. At least nine locations have been targeted uh, by the Indian Air Force, so that's what we are being told and they have not hit any Pakistani military base or any civilian areas. But that is what Indian Army has made very clear in this uh, release that has been issued them a while ago. On the other hand, what we are hearing in Srinagar, let me tell you, we did see a lot of jets hover around all around the sky a while ago. At the moment, it's a little quiet in Srinagar, but what we are hearing from the line of control in northern part of Kashmir, as well as in the Jammu uh, district, that there are continuous ceasefire violations, that shelling is going on continuously from both the sides. Now, in northern part of Kashmir, in Paramulla, in Kupwara, uh, we are also hearing the same from the Rajori, uh, as well as Punch Belt in the Jammu district. Let me tell you that ceasefire violations have been continuing from the last 13 consecutive nights, but after India's 
tried, which according to the Indian Army, they have clearly stated that they have only and only targeted yes. the terrorist camps. Yeah, no Pakistani military facility has been targeted. The Indian Armed Forces have made it clear.